Okay, so this is another one of those chair structure problems. Um, let me read it. It says, consider the structure of trans 1-ethyl 3-methyl cyclohexane. Which statement is fully correct about the most stable chair conformation? And then it gives you these four um, answers. Okay, so this is a multiple choice question. Um, let's go ahead and draw this thing out. I like to draw these things out to, in order to, um, you know, be able to figure out what, which one of these answers is correct. So first I would draw it out in its bond line form, okay? So I take this and, of course it's a cyclohexane, so the easy part, right? But now it's 1-ethyl and 3-methyl, so 1 and 3, but it's trans, right? So let's make the, and it doesn't matter which one you put forward and which one you put back, but it's going to look like that, okay? So now, you should be able to take that and draw the chair structures from it, okay? So let's do that. Since I'm a little tall, sit down in the chair here to draw the chair structures. So remember, first thing you want to do is just draw your chair, okay? Then you want to draw your other chair. So hopefully you're pretty good at drawing those things by now. Okay. So it's trans, so that means one's up and one's down, okay? Does that make sense when it's one, one's up and one's down? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So um, I always like to start at the one position there, okay? So since that's towards us, you know, that's going to be up. So where would I put it there? Uh, uh, up axial? Axial, right. So remember we say the arrow is kind of pointing up like that, so we're going to put it straight up from there, okay? And it's an ethyl group, so let's do that, okay? I'm going to erase this portion just so it doesn't get in my way, okay? Because I can see people are already kind of... Okay, everybody wrote that portion, okay? So the three methyl, that was down, so we go one, two, three. What would be the up position here? Would that be axial or equatorial? Axial. Axial. So the methyl group is what? Equatorial. Equatorial. And remember, it has to be parallel to two lines away, or two lines away, so it's going to be epic. Okay? So don't put it like that, like a lot of people like to do. Okay? Okay, so here we have the ethyl group in the axial position and the methyl group in the equatorial position. Do you think that's the more stable? Yeah. Why not? Because the ethyl is the larger group. Yeah, the, the, the larger group wants to be in the equatorial position, right? Yeah, but you can say such too. That's all right. Yeah, you don't have to rely on her. Okay, so what does this say? Remember, carbon one is here, so we flip that down, flip that up, right? So if that's carbon one, then that means that's carbon one there, right? So it goes from up axial to over here what? Up. Equatorial up, right? So the axial would be there, so like that, okay? And then the three position, one, two, three is there. One, two, three is there, okay? So the methyl group's down equatorial, so what is it going to be over here? Down axial. Down axial, okay? And you've already answered the question, right? So this is the more stable form here. Okay, so let's go here. Are both groups equatorial in the most stable form? Was that the most stable form? Oh, sorry, I messed up. That's the most stable form. That was a trick question, right? <laughs> Tricking you out. Okay, so are both groups equatorial in that stable form? No, both groups axial? No. Methyl group axial, ethyl group equatorial, right? Yeah. That's it. Okay. No problem with that one, right? Yeah. Except when I circled the wrong structure, right? <laughs> but I'm glad you all caught that. So, any questions on it? <laughs>